Trump tells donors privately it will be very tough for GOP to keep Senate majority. Many have been musing that Republicans will have a difficult time holding on to the Senate majority, and it turns out Donald Trump feels the same. He was heard telling donors that it would be very tough for the GOP to remain in control. I think the Senate is tough actually. The Senate is very tough, said the president at a Nashville fundraiser, according to someone who attended. There are a couple senators I can't really get involved in. I just can't do it. You lose your soul if you do. I can't help some of them. I don't want to help some of them. Many people agree with Trump regarding the Senate, but they don't agree about the chances of the House flipping to the Republicans. He believes they are going to take back the House. Many Senate strategists believe the GOP's chances of remaining in control are being undermined by Trump's comments and his low poll numbers. Senate Republicans see the writing on the wall, including Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, RKY. In a recent radio interview, he put his chances of continuing to lead the Senate at 50-50. Strategists are blaming the Senate's chances on Trump's response to the coronavirus pandemic, with around 225,000 dead in the country, as well as his performance in the first debate with former Vice President Joe Biden and the White House becoming ground zero for the virus. The Republican-led Senate and President Trump have had a great partnership over the last four years, highlighted by the fact the chamber is poised to confirm a third Trump Senate court nominee in the coming days, explained a spokesman for the National Republican Senatorial Committee, Jesse Hunt, arguing that Trump does have support among the Senate GOP. Nancy Pelosi has turned the House into a liberal nightmare, and if Chuck Schumer gets control of the Senate, he'll do the same thing. Currently, the Senate has a slim 53 to 47 majority. Democrats only need to pick up three seats if Biden wins to have control. Earlier, Republicans laid out the chances of retaining the chamber by separating senators into two tiers. At the front of the most vulnerable group are Senator Susan Collins, Army, Senator Cory Gardner, ARCO, Senator Martha McSally, RAZ, and Senator Tom Tillis, RNC. With many assuming Colorado Democratic Governor John Hickenlooper has a lock on the Senate win, both sides have stopped spending on the Senate race there. The second tier is the senators once referred to as the GOP firewall. This includes Senator Joni Ernst, RIA, Senator David Perdue, RGA, Senator Kelly Loeffler, RGA, and Senator Steve Daines, RMT. But that firewall is starting to erode, and some senators once seen as untouchable, no longer seem so safe, such as Trump ally Senator Lindsey Graham, RSC. It depends on who you listen to how safe Graham's seat is. Some still expect him to win, while others believe it's close, with his Democratic opponent Jamie Harrison having the itch. Republican donors are doing their thing trying to save the Senate, worried that Democrats will control both chambers and the White House. Donors are increasingly alarmed that we might lose the Senate, said donor Dan Eberhardt. Trump believes Tillis can beat Cunningham, though. I think Tillis is getting back in this one because his opponent ended up having more affairs than you're allowed to have at one time, said the president. And frankly, of all people, Trump should know. He also likes challenger Tommy Tuberville's chances against Senator Doug Jones, D.L. Democrats agree with him. Former Attorney General Jeff Sessions ran against Tuberville in the primary to get his old seat back but lost.